How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Black Metal Rebellion. I'm your host Jason Morgan aka Slamorella and today we have a thrash collection update and the first couple of items you're going to see if you already watched my Metalhead unboxing are going to be kind of familiar as well as something that I did a review on a week or so back. So let's just blaze through those first. I did however give a few good listens to the albums that I got in the Metalhead box so I can talk a little bit about them a little bit more. So the first one up is Howler with their 2018 album Fallen But Not Forgotten. It is their second LP and they are a thrash slash heavy metal band from San Jose, Costa Rica. Very nice exotic place to get some metal from and they started in about 2008. Besides this they also have uh, their first album called Back to Madness in 2014 and their third album from September 2020 called No More Circus. So after giving this album a little bit of a look over or listen to rather, they they are really, really good. The guitaring and drums and stuff really, really hit that thrash and heavy metal peak for sure. And there's definitely nothing bad to say about any of the the instruments or anything like that. Now the vocal styles, uh, as it is a heavy metal slash thrash metal band, do you kind of have that new album thrash style and are kind of slightly cheesy here and there. But if you can get over that styling of vocals, then you should have a really fun time with Howler's Fallen But Not Forgotten album from 2018. Really, really good thrash slash heavy metal from San Jose, Costa Rica. Definitely worth checking out. All right, the next album is Hemotoxin with Restructure the Molded Mind that came out March 16th of 2020, so this year. And they are a prog death slash thrash metal band out of California, USA that started in 2010. Besides this, they also have a, an album in 2013 being their first album called Between Forever and the End and their second album in 2016 called Biological Enslavement. After giving this some listen and some thorough dissection, this is probably the best band or album that came in this month's or in, in the November Metalhead box. Really, really heavy, excellent stuff. Kind of think of it as a proggy, hardcore version of Warbringer, but twice as heavy, but still keeps the speed. This is really, really good stuff. I highly recommend it. And I will more than likely be trying to track down their first and second album. This one, of course, being the third one from this year, late earlier this year, March 16th. And that is Restructure the Molded Mind by Hemotoxin. Also excellent stuff. Highly recommend it if you're into thrash. All right. And the third album that came in the Metalhead box for November was this Flesh Reaper with Blue Skies Laced with Pesticide that came out in 2018. These guys are a death thrash band from Florida, USA. That started in 2014. Besides this, they also have their debut album from 2016 called Casket Tastrophe. Very interesting stuff. And like I said before, I really like the, the artwork on the back there with the, the skeleton and the battle jacket. And after further diving into this, they were a very interesting mix of a few different styles of vocals. Um, one being this kind of airy death metal kind of style, very meat and potatoes type of vocal style. But then Flesh Reaper also throws in these other two styles. One being this kind of evil, high-pitched goblin-y type of vocal style, which if you uh, aren't a fan of that can come off maybe cheesy or a little campy. I actually enjoyed it. It was a nice little extra spice thrown in there for surprise. And then the person that does the airy death metal vocals kind of breaks off into this odd guar-esque 
kind of garbled vocals that is less airy and more raspy and more powerful sounding but yeah it kind of has a weird guar-ish kind of sound to those vocals and i also found parts of this album to be very in the vein of ghoul if you've ever heard of that kind of horror thrash band and the second track face in the window definitely has some metallica some kind of monster riff vibes going on so lots of really cool and interesting things going on with Flesh Reaper. They're definitely trying to go for variety and variety is the spice of life, my friends. So if you're looking for some out there kind of death thrash that keeps things interesting, definitely check out Flesh Reaper and the album Blue Skies Laced with Pesticide. So that would definitely be the, the second best album in the three that came in the Metalhead Box of November. All right. Moving on to a project that I did a review on, their album, Woe to the Kingdom of Blood. So if you're looking for a super in-depth review on that, scale back a few videos in my upload section and you'll probably find it. I have some really nice things to say about it and they're definitely something to check out for sure in the kind of darker thrash zone. And that band is Hellfected with their debut album that came out March 2020. So this year again, so another 2020 release that I, I keep trying to tell myself that I didn't get many 2020 releases, but it seems I did get a few. So if you are really interested, I might do a top albums of 2020 list before the end of this year. Let me know if that's something you'd want to see in the comments section below and I will do that. But just fair warning, i I still don't think I got that many 2020 albums to show off for like a best of 2020 list. So it'll be more like a best albums that I listened to in 2020. So yeah. Anyways, back to Hellfected. Really, really great blackened thrashing death band from England, UK that started in 2019. They, I think, have an EP or a demo before this and they're coming out with something to top this very very soon i know they have a new single out on their band camp so check that out this is kind of a more kind of lo-fi kind of grittier mix type of album so if you're into that kind of first wave black metal or kind of like gritty black and thrash stuff maybe you'll really enjoy this but yeah uh i i dug it enough to do a review Really stoked to the guys for sending me this. Uh, I kept your note in there. Love the, the logo and everything. And I eventually need to get a shirt. So, yep. Definitely check out Hellfected from England. Looking forward to whatever they come up with in the future. And looking forward to be blown away again. So cheers to Hellfected. Check them out. All right. The next band I kind of owe an apology to. But... After almost three and a half months of waiting for it to come in the mail, I thought I was never going to get it. So I ended up asking for my money back. And of course, it went to the refund, went not into my bank account. It went to somewhere that I'm not even going to be able to take advantage of that money. So I guess we both kind of lost out on that 22 uh, Australian dollars or whatever. But I will now have to pay you guys back since it did come in the mail so here we go here's mason with their debut album warhead that came out in 2013 if you don't know mason well you need to rectify that really quickly because they're damn good they're just an amazing groovy thrash band from australia that started in 2009 uh, probably one of the grooviest in-the-pocket thrash bands I've ever heard. They've got hooks for days, and they've got face-melting solos. There's just not enough good things to say about this project. And thanks to one of the United Re Rebel Alliance's own, Mark G with the C, he, uh, he was wearing their Warhead shirt in one of his videos, and I loved the logo and the artwork, so I'm like, fuck, I'm going to go check this band out. And lo and behold, they were amazing, so I picked up this album here uh, but besides Warhead they also have a self-titled EP that came out in 2011 and another EP that came after this 
called Unmerciful in 2016. And they actually have a second album to pick up called Impervious that was released in 2017. Hopefully they come up with some new stuff on top of that soon. Maybe a new EP, maybe a new third album, but that'd be sweet. But yeah, Mason, highly worth your time. You're going to be, you know, snapping your neck with all the headbanging you're going to be doing and all the mosh pitting around your living room you're going to be doing. Hell yeah, Mason is definitely worth your time. Really, really good band. And once again, I apologize to the guys for asking for that refund after three months of waiting and it not arriving in the mail uh, last month, I think is when I tried to ask for the refund. But don't worry, I will be sending you guys a re refund because this is definitely worth the 22 Australian bucks. Wow, I'm gonna be trying to find the impervious album after this as well when I can afford some more spending money, but wow. Go check out Mason, check out the album Warhead, and as soon as you're done that, go order your copy from their uh, big cartel or whatever. Uh, I'll try to remember to link up that in the description box below, and hopefully you'll find it there. But yeah, go check them out. Awesome band. Vocals kind of reminded me a bit of the creator vocals mixed with Slayer. So if you like those kind of vocal styles, you'll, you'll enjoy that too. All right, next band is a project that I've talked about probably a couple times now on this channel. I don't know. I feel like I've maybe showed off this album in another video before. If so, my apologies for not remembering. If you remember, let me know what video that was. But worth mentioning for sure, really, really good band. Also have that kind of crater vocal stylings. The, the first album I would have shown off by this band would have been their To Rule Them All album, which is their third album that was released in 2015. Well, what I'm talking about is Cemetery Dust with An Anatomy of War that was originally released in 2012. They've recently done a re-release of this with like a purple cover. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just a different mix or a different vocalist or whatever. They gave me a free download for that with the, this in the mail. They also threw in a Cemetery Dust pin with their old school logo on it that I also have on my Thrash Best now. And they also threw in a Cemetery Dust logo beer bottle opener, which came in handy uh, a couple of days ago when I really needed a couple of drinks after a, a certain incident went down, which I'm not discussing on this channel. But yeah, definitely came in handy. So thanks Cemetery Dust for including that in your package was not expecting well i'm actually i'm lying i i did expect some special bonus but i wasn't sure what it was going to be so cheers for the the pin and the bottle opener anyways if you haven't heard of cemetery dust by now they're an awesome melodic thrash metal band out of austria not australia but austria and they started in 2005. So besides this and the other album I mentioned, they also have their debut album that came out in 2008 called Power of the Hypocrite, which has been out of print for quite a while and I missed out on it. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to search on Discogs or something to find that one, but I will eventually track that one down too, just to be completist and get all of the Cemetery Dust albums. Not sure if I opened this up and showed you or not, there's the the CD there with the kind of biological or radiation symbol and then the the code they sent me for the download and a couple of stickers and stuff too so thanks guys for all the bonus items you guys sent in with this yeah really good band highly recommend you guys check them out especially if you're into like melodic thrash metal so thrash metal that's fast aggressive but also has kind of like soulful leads and other kind of overlaying guitar riffs that really bring the mood and the the atmosphere to it so yeah do yourself a favor if you're looking for a slice of different pie in the thrash bakery <laughs> this analogy is going nowhere but check them out you'll probably really enjoy them really really good stuff cemetery dust from austria all right, we're getting down to the last couple of things. I know this is a little bit of a longer video, but I just wanted to make sure I gave everyone a, a, a good mention and a descriptor. Next one is something I've been hunting down for a while. I've been really wanting it in my collection and I finally tracked it down for about 18 bucks, give or take a dollar or, or some cents, but 
well worth it. I re for whatever reason, I thought this was their first album, but it's not. So I'm going to have to track down their first album now after this because it's so good. Anywho, this is a project called Bastardizer. There we go. There's some demonetization fuel with their album Dawn of Damnation that came out in 2018. Uh, second album by this project. They are a kind of blackened thrash metal and they are from Australia that started in 2013. So besides this, they also have two demos, three splits, and uh, their first album that I definitely need to hunt down with a, like a bunch of red on the cover and a devil and, and something, maybe on a throne in hell, but it's, it's a pretty badass art. They're called Enforcers of Evil, and that came out in 2014. Now, Bastardizer, these guys are awesome. If, if you liked Midnight or Vanek, just think of Bastardizer as this kind of insanely vicious version or like an angrier, more satanic older brother to Vanek and Midnight. And that's what you got with these guys. Super good, super just venomous and high energy and really, really fun fucking black and thrash. So yeah, if you're looking to level up from Vanek to midnight and you need that next power up go go get some bastardizer in your life there i've said it twice this is definitely getting demonetized and that artwork fucking cool i love the blue and the orange mixed together i'd love to get a shirt of that holy fuck so yeah now i need to go find a patch as well so bastardizer if any of you guys are watching let me know if you guys got patches because i'm i'm gonna want to pick one up and if anyone knows where to get Bastardizer patches, also let me know, maybe. So, yeah. Check out Bastardizer. Really ferocious, vicious, black-tinged thrash metal with all of the attitude and none of the fucks to give. All right. Boiling down to the last two bands on this collection update, I finally got around to actually getting this band's second album because I've already bought the first album, twice once because i wanted to second time because i didn't think i had the first album uh so now i finally got a copy of batteries martial law this is quite the beefy stepped up really just hard-hitting sequel to their first album armed with rage that came out in 2014 this was their 2016 lp and that says that they're kind of on hold right now, but I really hope they get back together and do some stuff or at least re-release -re their EP from 2012 called Mental Pollution on CD or tape or something, or even allow it to be digitally downloaded on their Bandcamp. Because right now, I think all you can do is maybe listen to it. I'm not sure, but yeah. So hopefully if you guys are watching from Battery, please re-release Mental Pollution. I would love to get a copy of that. I have a copy of their Nuke demo on tape and Born in a Beaker would be cool to get to, but the, 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 these two albums are great. This one is definitely, like I said, a slight step up from Armed with Rage. Definitely stoked to have this now. Definitely something to seek out and get for yourself. And it's on Punishment 18 Records. So if you're into thrash, you know that label only puts out some of the best thrash metal that's from Italy and Europe. Ku Kulkan is probably one of my favorite tracks on here. Evil Offspring is another good one. Battery by Authority. Uh, also, I believe he, uh, one of the guys from this, threw in that back patch, that giant green battery back patch that was on my thrash vest so thanks again for that as well really cool of you guys to throw that in with this cheers to battery excellent thrash metal out of denmark that started in 2008. all right and the last thing on here but not the least and it is a big name so you're glad you stuck around to the end of the video <laughs> and that is creator with their 10th album violent Revolution that came out in 2001. Y'all know Creator, excellent thrash band. They started in 1984 that has elements of death metal, elements of kind of blackened type of metal here and there. 
vocals have been really, really harsh to really melodic over the years, depending on which album you get. This one is more like the the newer sound for creators, so like similar to Phantom Antichrist or Gods of Violence, but also just a really, really good album. And then you got that kind of creator head on the front symbol that's sort of like Souls, Souls of Black, or is that Testament? I don't know. But anyways, this was a really good album. It's classic, newer creator sound. That does not make sense. You can't put classic and newer in the same title. Uh, scratch that. <laughs> but anyways, just one of the many creator albums that I need to track down. I got their first four albums, so I'm pretty stoked about that. And then I got their last three. I'm pretty sure this came before Phantom Antichrist. But yeah, so now I just need to get the middle section of albums and then I'll have a lot of creator to enjoy and listen to my spare time. All right, anyways, that's enough of, of talking about the Creator. You you know all too well about Creator if you're uh, any sort of metal fan uh, over the age of 20. So anyway, that's it for my collection update. The last thing I wanna talk about is this. This is a Bakiox Oi shirt, Stress Drunk Punk. They are a awesome, crazy street punk band out of jakarta indonesia i don't know if they've been doing too much during the pandemic or whatever hopefully they continue to be a band and i am looking forward to their first ep or album whenever they can do that right now the only tracks you can find are i think maybe four if you're lucky five different tracks one or two of them being kind of official tracks that you can kind of get off of YouTube, one or two that you can download off of their Reverb Nation band page. And there's one track that they won't let you download off there. It's actually pretty decent. I think it might be a cover. And then the other two tracks or two or three tracks are just kind of live tracks of them doing stuff live. One of them is pretty decent quality and the other two are, you're barely gonna be able to hear it if you're just listening to it on your headphones. So hopefully they release a, an EP worth of officially recorded tracks soon, or if they really feel like being generous, a full album worth. But yeah, Back Yaksoi, amazing street punk band from Jakarta, Indonesia. Check them out if you can. I will try to, I'll try to put up links to the Reverb Nation or, or YouTube or something. But yeah, keep going, guys. Hope you make an album or an EP soon. Awesome band. And that's it. That is my giant stack of thrash for this collection update. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know which one of these albums do you have, if you have any. Let me know if I've inspired you to check out any of these projects and which ones you like. That's it for me, for Glory, for the Rebel Alliance. Slamorella out. Thanks to Mark G with the C for turning me on to Mason. Great band.